I'm here with Michael Bungay Stenier. Michael, a fantastic guy, great coach, just got ranked one of the top eight coaches in the whole world, Thank possibly going much. to be number Thank one. Thank you very much. In the running for number one, and also a fantastic author, book that sold already 600,000 copies, yes. on the road to selling more, The Coaching Habit. I love what you're doing because you're really focused on avoiding something called the advice trap. Exactly. You're talking about this in a new book, The Advice Trap. Yeah. I love it. Tell me what you mean by that. Sure. So there's a pattern of behavior that we need to shift. Leaders of the past, we're very good at going, look, I've got the knowledge, I'm going to download that to you and it'll cascade down the organization. Right. That just doesn't work anymore. Right. What we're looking to do is shift behavior so people stay curious a little bit longer mm. and rush to action and advice giving just a little bit more slowly. Mm. So it's, never, it's not to say never give advice, because right. you know, that's ridiculous. Right. But what we're trying to shift as a basic behavior is can people stay curious just a little bit longer? Here's why advice giving doesn't work that often. I think there are three reasons. Okay. The first is this. Typically, the first problem that somebody comes to you with mm. isn't the real problem. Mm. It's the first thing that's come to mind. It's a symptom. It's their best guess. Mm. But almost never is the thing when they say, this is what I'm struggling with. Mm. That's almost never the real thing. Okay. So there's your first problem. The second challenge is even if, let's say, they've come to you with the exact problem, they've defined it perfectly, mm -hmm. almost certainly your advice as the leader or as the manager isn't nearly as good as you think it is. Mm. It's your best guess, you've made it up. Right. You know, I've heard you say before, if you, if you as the leader know more about, let's say, marketing than the person who's doing the marketing, right. you have a real problem there. Right, right? you the wrong got, person. You got the wrong person. So that's the second piece. First part, the problem that you think is the problem is not actually the problem. Mm. The second one, even if it is the problem, your advice isn't nearly as good as you think it is. Your ideas aren't nearly as good as they think it is. Mm. But let's say a miracle's happened. <laughs> not only do you have the right problem, you've defined that, not only do you have this brilliant idea that is an outstanding solution to the challenge, the third, and this is perhaps the most dangerous, is this is not potentially good leadership. Mm. Because even if you have the best idea, mm. is that the best form of leadership in the moment? Because mm. there is a moment where you say, look, what's more important here, that I am the person who's right, I'm mm. the person with the best idea, mm. or I give the person I'm leading the opportunity to come up with their own idea, to mm. do their own thinking, to mm. claim ownership of their own insight. You know, you and I both know Alan Mulally, and he's an inspiration. And if anybody role models this ability to be the leader and stand aside and let other people find their solutions, it's Alan. Right. He's a real champion for that piece around, even if I know the answer, mm -hmm. is it really the best move for me to give the answer? And I know part of his philosophy of leadership is resist giving the answer as long as possible mm. until it's the right moment, because there becomes a moment where it is the right time for you to give advice. Can you just slow it down and slow down the rush to action and slow down the rush to advice giving? I love it. Uh, my friend David Ulrich taught me that effectiveness in execution is a function of A, what's the quality of the idea, times B, what's my commitment to make it work. What I love about what you just said is we can become so fixated right. on trying to provide an answer that that's much better. We may, if we do improve the quality right. this much, we may damage the commitment that much. Exactly. So always ask, is this going to improve this person's commitment and then is it worth it? Perfect. Fantastic. Thanks Thank you. Sure.